Okay, um, I'm just going to talk uh, today about, uh, so read big words here, um, McLaren ooh, um, and uh, our data center. Uh, really, uh, this is a non-technical talk. We've been talking a lot of you know, um, high-tech stuff um, so far. This is way down the other end of the spectrum. So it's really uh, sort of Linux uh, in the real world amongst uh, real people and uh, just, you know, how do we use it? And is that it? And, uh, okay, as usual, uh, this presentation is now about, um, you know, two versions late because the real one's on the laptop. Uh, I just want to talk about the, the business implementation of a Linux server in a sort of semi-hostile environment. Um, and I said, not a technical presentation. Um, so, so it's the McLaren Group. Um, we're not McLaren Automotive, um, unfortunately. Um, McLaren Strollers, that's not us either. And McLaren McCann, again, that's not us either. We are the other group, and somebody might say McLaren McCann no longer exist. That's quite true. They, they are now McCann. Well, we are a um, small company. Um, I talk about our main campus is at uh, Carlaw and Lakeshore. Um, the campus is an old Victorian house. Um, we're about five employees. Um, and what we do is we sort of have two or three sort of main um, directions. We build uh, web-based training. Um, so uh, we're training organizations, and you'll see these um, Hallmark, Sodexo, um, let's see, Shaneco, big uh, diamond company. Uh, but our main thing is we produce really transition teams for large organizations for retail outlets that are sort of moving across technology. So uh, as you see, one of our customers, uh, one of our first customers was McDonald's. Uh, real easy for McDonald's to say, let's change our point of sale system and all, and all the uh, equipment in the store. Um, but then we want to do this in three over a three month period. You've now got 1400 stores they don't have a training department to do that. You know, they can put the training material together, but they need an organization to, to scale up. And that's really what we do. We, you know, I always say that we are the scaling department. So that's where we fit in. So while we're five, we will grow to 40 and then um, put this team on the ground uh, and then do the rollout. Um, customers mostly in the US, but we also have a few uh, big name uh, customers in Canada as well. Uh, I just put this list up here because uh, these companies I like very much because they have paid for my travel across North America. Uh, Hallmark, I did uh, downtown at the World Trade, um, at World Trade um, the UN building, also out there in California and somewhere down south. Uh, Walmart, bumped around um, Louisiana with them. Um, and, and again, so they paid for my travel. Uh, McDonald's um, did a store in... St. John's also did uh, Vancouver Island, a great, great organization. Um, Canada Tire, or Canadian Tire, taught me to Yellowknife, so like them. Um, co-op is a really interesting um, transition. Um, how many know co-op? They're a billion dollar Canadian company. How the hell can they do that? Um, Really, they, they run um, Manitoba going west. Um, they have oil, they, but really they're running uh, the co-op stores from all the small towns, all the gas stations, all the way going out to Vancouver. Um, and they run an oil refinery of all things. So I think they're a billion dollars, they are a billion dollar plus company. Um, they've done an interesting thing of, um, they're fat and happy. And they run a mainframe. And so they, uh, and so all the people who know the mainframe are, of course, all, all you know, dead and gone. And they now realize they've got to actually get off the mainframe. And so they're now going to do this transition. How do you bring 500 stores across? How do you bring 2,000 retail people across? These are not technical people. These are people who have been using the mainframe for the last 20 years. So, so that's really what we do, is we just help that transition move across. So um, limits, um, I'm the tech guy in the company. I'm more of a trainer, but I sort of fell into the tech position. Um, there's some of the limits that I work with. Um, I have a boss, we, we do all this consulting, but he really hates technology. 
So I've got to work with him. I um, have a non-technical team. Um, they're a bunch of trainers and writers, for God's sake. Um, they they can't, couldn't spell TCP IP if I gave them uh, flashcards for it. So really, when we're building the IT infrastructure, we've got to make sure that it, it works for them. And we're just um, bringing across some web-based training, um, a lot of JSON scripts in it. And I've been trying to get these JSON scripts out to people. There's a very high ick factor of anything in text files, command line interface. So just even you have to sort of hand over the stuff in a very gentle fashion. So they're very PC oriented. And the other limit is uh, low cost. Um, we're a small organization, so uh, cost is really, really important to us. Uh, the boss um, put out an email a couple of years back. The subject line was, you cheap bastard. And he was referring to himself. And he was sending this message out to all of the uh, staff saying, please you know, watch your costs and watch this, watch that, watch the other thing. He's incredibly generous when he's training the, um, the training teams or the tra for the train the trainers. <laughs> but then once the project starts, yeah, he's a cheap bastard. That's a business. You know, he's got to run that. So that's the limit. Um, so we needed a central file system. Um, needs to be reliable. I'm on the road. I can't uh, look after it. Um, we've got consultants. We're mostly in Toronto, but we've now got quite a few sort of out there in North America. They needed equal access, low cost again. Um, so I needed servers in the office, but I also use uh, other outside servers, Rackspace and Dropbox I'll come back to. Dropbox is, yeah, who cares, but they're really important to us. Teamwork is really our, our consultant relation management group. That's really how we communicate with the consultants. And, and we have Telus, we're dependent on Telus, hate them, but uh, they're there. They're our main web server and our email server. So solution was, um, you know, it's not rocket science. Um, needed something that was simple, that, was, that would work, uh, that was reliable. So um, went for Synology, um, needed a uh, network addressable system or NASAs. You know, this line here. Yeah, cost me nearly 600 bucks for this unit. Okay, let's think of all those other data centers out there, um, all, all the costs and everything. Yeah, I, I brought this thing in for, for 600. It does what we need it to do. Um, for power consumption, since they're at 10 watts, um, fine, who cares. Uh, for disk, I un deliberately under-configured it five years ago um, for a terabyte. I needed uh, 200 meg, uh, sorry, 200 gig. Um, oh, well, yeah, it's easy to go two, three, four. I really want these disks to die in three or four years. So I deliberately you know, kept it small. So now I, I'm forced after four years to now do the replacement. Um, and then we have a one hour UPS in place. Oh, lovely little unit, very cute. They're about this big, really easily walk off the ball with. So I make sure it's locked in place. Um, so we use the NAS server. Um, so uh, PC users, uh, SMB and SIFs, um, so they're, uh, they've got full access. Uh, Apple file system for, um, for the Mac users. Uh, Linux doesn't care. Linux, you know, Linux is a whore. Linux will connect in you know, with Apple. It'll connect in with uh, SIFs. It doesn't care. Uh, we use OpenVPN uh, for access. So again, uh, just real easy access for everybody. And I'm running short of time. Okay. Um, one little piece of design thing I did. One of the shares on it was uh, the server sync. And uh, so I have server sync just as a share and people can drag and drop stuff into it. It's being watched by Dropbox. Um, Dropbox sees a file, it then uploads to its server. And then we have our Rackspace server, which is our web-based training server. It's also running Dropbox. So then it's watching the, uh, the cloud uh, server. So again, for my non-technical people, who FTP is, is a stretch, all they have to do is just move this, move a file into the share area and, and they publish the file. So uh, it kept that real simple for them. I have an imagined quote from Mark. Um, the house burned down last night. Sorry. By the way, your deadline for Friday still exists. So the whole idea was uh, backup. The whole site gets backed up nightly. I also do weekly backups. So. Uh, the uh, thing I've also got behind it is uh, a sm smaller brother, the DS-115. Reason I got that was um, 
we had the, the, uh, the 215 there, and the uh, Synology went in a major software upgrade. They went from DSM-4 to DSM-5, and they said the world is changing and all that. And I you know, didn't really want to then sort of have the system go down. So I bought the second unit, and this one really is um, the, pra the practice unit, the play unit. It's the backup unit in case the main one goes down. And then also, it's also sucking files off real time. So again, I've got a system uh, that backs it all up. So mostly idle. Um, so there's the last slide here. Um, continuing challenges with this. Uh, unfortunately, as I said, we're a bunch of uh, trainers and writers. So uh, there's too many, uh, you know, the personnel eggs or support is in one basket. Um, and right now we're sort of looking to try and, and share this load. Uh, CPU limits, um, fine for NAS. Uh, the weekly backup um, is starting to uh, cost. I'm starting to, you know, it's a small CPU, relatively. So the, uh, the backup's starting to take time. And I need to start thinking about new disks. And I may need to start actually thinking about unit replacement because they are now four or five years old, um, just you know, going through the general cycle of, uh, of equipment. But you know, it's been a, a great little set of units, been incredibly reliable. Um, done the job, and I said, we've got a non-technical base, and um, they always ask, you know, how's it all working? Really, um, it works just fine. So. so, McLaren Group, Ron Grimes, happy to answer any questions. Now, later. Yeah. <laughs>